At 12.45, we got Chattanooga, who went 8-5 and five last year. Traveling to Tennessee, who went 9-4. and four. Tennessee fair by 41.5 points on the SEC Network. Joe Milton III went 229-354 for them last year, through for 2,813 yards, 20 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Jalen Wright had 137 carries for 1,013 yards and 4 touchdowns. And Squirrel White had 67 catches for 803 yards and 2 touchdowns. Now... Um, only one of those players returns, and that's Squirrel White. Um, so I think what's going to be really interesting with Tennessee, again, it's going to make or break their season, is their, <laughs> it's their uh, redshirt freshman quarterback, Nico. Um, it's going to make or break their season. Uh, they're playing on a top fast CC this year. He looked really good against Iowa. Iowa has a hell of a defense. That was his first team ever starting. Um, we'll see if he's able to continue that, right? Because it's, it's going to be a tough year in the SEC. Um, you have four teams right off the bat that are looking like teams that could be in the playoffs. Five, if you think about it. Three teams are locks, in my opinion. I believe Georgia, Texas, and Ole Miss will be playoff teams at this point next year. I think there will be one more that sneaks in from the SEC, whether that is Missouri or Alabama, we'll have to see. But you look at that, that's five playoff-caliber football teams. And you're not even talking about teams like Oklahoma. Texas a and is getting hyped up. They get hyped up every year, but maybe this is the year they actually somewhat live up to the hype. I don't think it is, but maybe. Um, and then you throw Oklahoma in there, too. So it's like Tennessee has some real competition. The SEC is probably the strongest top-to-bottom conference this year. Outside of Vanderbilt, there is not a bad team amongst them. Arkansas is probably the second worst, and Arkansas is a high-caliber football team. So I think... If you're looking at it from a Tennessee perspective, is you're not going to have many easy games this year, especially drawing NC State at a conference. It's going to be hella tough. Uh, you got to take advantage of opportunities like this when you come at it. Chattanooga is not a good football team. This is a chance to show what your offense is capable of, a chance for a warm-up game heading into a big game against NC State, a game that they're going to have two extra days of rest over you. Keep in mind, because they play on Thursday, you play on Saturday. So... Big game for Tennessee, massive game. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I think Tennessee's going to win. They're going to win by a lot. This is a chance for Nico to show how good he is. I think he is pretty decent. So give me Tennessee to win and cover at home.